Nigerian agricultural system is in soup. Hot soup or gonna soup for that matter because it will draw. Let me explain. A few days ago, the Nigerian government launched Bill Gates for funded GMO maize to boost the agricultural productivity in Nigeria. What does that mean? Let me break it down for you. Now, first of all, what is GMO? GMO is genetically modified organism, meaning that that maize Bill Gates is bringing for us to boost productivity has been genetically modified. The DNA has been altered. Now, GMO have advantage and disadvantage. The advantage is that, you know, the product will come out bigger. You know, have you seen those apple that comes very big, the guava that is big, pineapple big, all those fruit that is very big. It means that their DNA has been altered to make them come out bigger. You understand? And you have more harvest. Everything come out big. You see it shining, looking good. And that is because it's now artificial. It has been modified, not really artificial, but it has been modified to perform well. And what are the disadvantage? One of the disadvantage which made me say that Nigeria is in Ogono Sul that is drawing is because the GMO, generic modified maize, does not reproduce. Meaning that any maize where they give you, any seed where they give you, you plant them. That is all. That one that it will produce cannot be planted again. You cannot replant it. If not tomato, once you don't plant them, harvest them, you know go feel the plant them. You will still need to depend on them to give you maize. Now, when you finally 100% depend on them, remember, it's not only corn they modify. They can modify tomato, guava, any other fruit. Now, if all our crops are now modified, that we cannot reproduce the corns again or the maize again, we will now have to depend on Bill Gates or whoever is modifying it for us to always bring seed. Now remember when your agriculture is captured that you can no longer get maize from them. Any price they tell you to pay that is what you're going to pay. There are a lot of disadvantage of GMO. Remember, it's genetically modified. So the original organism that comes with those fruits, those maize, those crops is no longer there. I will not be able to mention all the disadvantage. This is me challenging you. Go and Google the disadvantage of GMO to your health. Because the most important one to me right now is this replanting. Because any crops that you plant that the seed cannot be reused again, it is a big trouble. Because Bill Gates is actually giving these crops for free. It's funding needs. And remember, what they're giving you for free is not free. Someone is somewhere paying for it. Remember, if they give you something for free, somebody is actually paying for it. If nobody is paying for it, you are the product. So if nobody is paying for this thing, which I know that nobody in this world will give Africa, Nigeria, something huge like that without somebody paying for it or we are actually the product or we are going to pay heavily later so this is my plea to you guys i will advise everybody watching this video share this video around let let it go around all the whatsapp group tell everybody to start cultivating start farming in your backyard because we all know that the cost of food in the country right now is very high because our farmers cannot go back to farm because of insecurity so if our farmers cannot go back to farm we are not receiving bulk of food that we used to receive from the north anymore so let everybody because our farmland is actually you know fertile so start planting anything you have in your backyard if it's tomato start planting it go and buy like oh no 500 naira tomato pieces it in your backyard and let it grow Put pepper somewhere, if not corn, plant, if not cassava, plant. Start making use of those land you have. You know, all those land where you don't buy, all those one where they wait, made the money increase, make you sell and let all those your land, all those land property where you get, go and plant something in it. Start farming. If we start farming, if everybody start farming, the hunger will reduce, food will go back in circulation. We'll not be needing all those GMO, whatever, you know, to reduce our population or whatever they are. Remember, I didn't say more than this anyway. So, Nigerians, make sure you start farming no matter how little. But before you farm, remember to enjoy your weekend. Thank you.